Welcome everyone, today we'll be hopping into the Thinkorsim platform to learn the absolute fastest ways to get in and out of your options positions. Some of this will really depend on the type of strategies that you guys are planning on doing, but if you're watching this, I'm just going to assume you're mainly trading single leg call and put options. Now the first method we're going to discuss, and probably the more popular of the two, is actually by setting up your active trader ladder specifically for options contracts. In order for us to do that, let's go ahead and come up here to the charts tab, and specifically the flexible grid. We'll actually go through creating two completely different templates so that you guys can kind of pick and choose between them and choose which one makes more sense for you. The very first template that we're going to make is actually going to have a nice big chart of the stock that we're keeping track of right up here on top, and then two little active trader ladders down here below. One for the call options and then one for the put options. So let's go ahead and start by first deleting this little middle chart down here at the very bottom, and we can do that by simply clicking on this little square with a line going through it. We'll then go ahead and link this very first chart up here at the top to red 1, we'll link the second one down here to yellow 2, and we'll link the third one to blue 3. Honestly, the colors don't really matter at all, I just want all three of them to be different, and I promise you this will make a little bit more sense in just a minute. Now, before actually moving on, I still need to adjust these two lower windows since right now all they are are charts, and I actually want to change those from a chart to the active trader ladder. So to do that, we'll come over here to the left-hand side window and deselect the letter C, which stands for the chart, and we can see it disappears here. We'll then come over here and do the exact same to this one over here. And now in order to add the active trader ladder, we're just going to come up here to AT, which stands for active trader. Go ahead and click on that one for the right-hand side window and on the left-hand side window. Since we're done making changes to the actual template for this, let's go ahead and come up here to the little grid icon in the upper right hand corner and then deselect customize grid. And that'll get rid of those little windows in the center of each chart. So as we sit here now looking here at this current template, you can see up here at the top I've got a nice Netflix chart. Then down here in the lower left hand corner I for some reason have a PayPal call option. And then over here on the right I've got a Microsoft put option. Obviously that doesn't make a whole lot of sense if we're planning to trade Netflix, so in order to actually place the call and put that we want to trade in those windows, we have several different options. The very first method is actually by coming back over here to the trade tab, and specifically the all products page, and then we can see the option chain for Netflix down here below. What we need to actually do is first begin by selecting the expiration and then the strikes of the options that we want to trade. In my example today, let's go ahead and open up the 19 August expiration. Then looking down here below in the option chain, let's say we wanted to trade the at the money calls and the at the money puts. Looking here, it looks like that would be the 190 call and the 190 put. And now in order to actually send those to the active trader windows that they need to go to, we simply need to right click on the option contract, send to, and then the color that we selected for that active trader. That sounds a bit more confusing than it actually is, so let me just go through an example. So first off, let's go ahead and send this 190 call to that first active trader ladder that we had in the lower left hand corner. So here all I'm going to do is go ahead and right click on that contract, I'm then going to look down below in this big drop down menu towards the very bottom and actually select send to. From there I'm going to look over here on the right and we're actually going to send it to the yellow chart because remember that first active trader ladder was linked to yellow. Once we go ahead and click on that we now need to do it for the put option as well. So let's come over here to the 190 put. I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that contract, look down below at the send to section and for this one remember we're sending it to blue 3. After we go ahead and click on that, we now have both of the options in the windows that we want them in, and now we can come back up here to the charts page. So now looking down here in the lower left, it looks like we've got the Netflix 190 calls, and over here on the right we've got the Netflix 190 puts. Another method we could use to actually flip between the different options contracts is actually by just clicking on this little drop down arrow just the right of the symbol. From there we're going to go to the options section down below. We're going to go ahead and throw in Netflix in this case, NFLX. We can then see the option chain down below and we could actually pick the new contract that we wanted to flip it to. So in this case, let's say we wanted to trade instead of the August 19th expiration, we wanted to trade the 12 August and we actually still wanted to stick to the 190 puts. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and click on that price right there. And now my active trader ladder is trading the 190 puts for the August 12th expiration. Now the very last method that other people like to use is actually by creating watch lists that come over here on the side panel. So by coming down here and adding a new 
watch list and one specifically for options here. Like in my case, I'm opening up my calls watch list. Looking down here below, I could now actively track the options that I was tracking for the day. And then if I link this to let's say yellow, I could then very quickly click on these symbols. And now my active trader is set up for that new contract. For me personally, I actually just prefer to use this little drop down menu and then select the new options that I want to trade. I find that to be the easiest and the fastest, but it's totally up to you. Now let's go ahead and actually flip it back over to the August 19th expiration, just so it makes a little bit more sense. And now that we actually have this set up, we can now use this active trader to very quickly place our opening and closing trades on these Netflix options. These buy buttons up here at the top are actually used to place market orders. And then the ladder down here below can be used to place limit orders and stops. Coming up here and hitting this little arrow on the left hand side will allow us to change the number of contracts that we're trading and also to create templates over here on the right if we actually want multiple different order types to go out all with one button click. So just as an example of how to use this thing, if we were to come up here and select buy market right now, what I'm essentially saying is I want to buy one contract to Netflix on the 190 strike at the current market price. So now if I were to come down here and hit send, you will see that order has been submitted and I just bought that contract. Coming over here and actually selecting auto send will make the process even faster because then it gets rid of the order confirmations. So now if I were to come up here and hit sell market, that contract has been instantly sold. I just sold that contract for 1880. As I just mentioned a minute ago, you could also come down here to the ladder itself to place limit orders or stops. So let's say I only wanted to buy this contract. If it dropped down to 1835, I would just put my mouse just to the left of that price and then click down. You can see here that that order has been instantly submitted. So I now have an open order to buy one contract at 1835. I could also come up here and first off, let's cancel this out and I could actually use a template instead. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and change this and put a profit target order to go out right behind it. And we'll say I wanted to sell this thing for a 50% profit above wherever I buy it at. So now that I'm happy with that, if I actually come down here and let's go ahead and minimize this just so you guys can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and click just to the left of buy limit at 1890. And I'm going to select that. Now you can see that my order actually just filled. So I just bought that contract at 1890 and a limit order went out there to sell it for a 50% profit. It's a little bit hard to see that working order on this just because it's so much higher than the current price of the stock. But if I come up here to the monitor tab and specifically look at my working orders here, you can actually see my profit taking order is currently sitting at 28.35 and that's 50% above what I bought it for. So going back to our active trader template, if we go back to the charts page and flexible grid, remember this is if you guys want to access both the calls and the puts at the exact same time. If you're someone that only plans to trade one side at a time, we could actually free up a lot of real estate just by adjusting this template a little bit. Before I actually do that, let me come up here to the little grid icon and let me first save this flexible grid. So hit save flexible grid right here. You'll then get a little pop up window where we can name this grid. And for me, I'm going to name it the call and put layout. And once I actually save it, it'll make it possible for me to access this template anytime I want to in the future. And it'll always be up here under this grid icon and you'll see it right here. Call and put layout. But now that we've saved this one, let's go ahead and delete these bottom two windows and make that single option layout. So let's come up here and select customize grid. That'll then reopen these customization windows in each individual window. And let's go ahead and delete these bottom two right here. Now that we're happy with that, let's come back up here and actually add a chart just the right of this one. So I'm going to hit the little square with the plus sign to the right of it. You'll then see a new window appears on the right hand side. And for this one, we'll go ahead and link it to yellow. And now let's get rid of those little customization windows once again. We're then going to come down here and deselect the chart. And for this one, we'll just open up the active trader ladder and let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. I don't need so much room for that. And there we go. We now have a nice big chart of the sock that we're tracking on the left. And then we've got that single option contract that we're trading over here on the right hand side. If we wanted to save this layout as well, we can come up here to the grid icon. We're going to go ahead and say save flexible grid as, and for this one, we'll just name it the one option layout. We'll then go ahead and hit save. And remember, if I want to access those other layouts that I've made or customize, I just need to come up here to the grid and I could actually flip between them. 
So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that three grid layout right here. And now you can see we've got that same template that we made earlier. Coming back up here, we could then flip it back over to the single chart layout if we wanted to. But I think you guys get the general idea. You guys can really customize these windows, but that's the basic setup that I would use if I was gonna day trade options. The fastest way to get in and out. Now, the second method that we're gonna discuss is actually just done by making a simple settings adjustment by coming up here to the setup menu in the upper right-hand corner. We'll then go ahead and open up the application settings window, then head over here to where it says the orders tab. Go ahead and select that. We'll then look to the right and actually check mark the button that says auto send with shift click. Once that's done, we can just come down here to apply settings. And from now on, we're gonna be doing our trading from the actual option chain. So head back over to the trade page and the all products tab. Now do keep in mind that this isn't just gonna apply to options, it will apply to everything. So what I'm about to show you will apply to stock, options, futures, Forex, everything. So to actually see how this works in action, let's come over here to the option chain for Netflix and let's first begin by seeing what a normal trade would look like. So coming down here to the August 19th expiration and let's say we were bullish on Netflix and you guys were planning on buying a $200 call. Normally, if you guys were placing a trade right from this page, you would simply click on the asking price if you wanted to buy it, which in this case is currently $14.45. So let's go ahead and click on that. You can then see as soon as we do, a little order ticket pops up just like normal. How many contracts do we want to buy? What price do we want to pay for it? And then how long do we want that order good for? We then have to come over here to confirm and send, then hit send again to actually submit the trade. So it's not the quickest process. Now, the change that we just made will actually allow us to instantly place a trade whenever we hold down the shift button on our keyboard and then click on the bid or the ask. So for example, let's say we wanted to actually flip over to the put side. We're now bearish on Netflix and we were looking at buying the 185 put. What we're gonna do is actually go ahead and hold down the shift button on our keyboard and then select the asking price. So right here, 1540. And you'll see that that order was instantly submitted. No questions asked. We didn't have to fill out an order ticket. We didn't have to hit send a couple times. It just immediately went out there. Now, if the market was actually open, that order would have been instantly filled. But if we come up here to the monitor tab and we can see here that it's been submitted and it's been submitted at 1540, but since the market's closed, nothing actually happened. I will say that this method isn't perfect. The order that gets submitted is just gonna be based off of whatever your order default is for options. In my case, I've got my order default set to be one contract at a time, and it's gonna use a limit order at whatever the current price is. So if you guys wanted to adjust that, you would just come up here to setup, application settings, then come over here to order defaults and adjust it for options. But hopefully that gives you guys a few different ideas on how to customize and set up your own platforms to trade options as fast as possible. If there is anything else that you guys would like me to touch on in the platform, or if there is anything I missed, be sure to let me know down below. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I hope to see you on the next video.